ever wondered this about the former actress known as Meghan Markle? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. And as ever, thank you so much for your company today. Also, can I say thank you to everybody who enjoyed the recent video that we put up all about those showbiz memories. So many of the greats, of course, that we like to share with you. And it was wonderful to interview that particular gentleman who was kind enough to share his thoughts. I know it's fascinating. So many of you wrote and said, oh, it's nice to get these behind the scenes stories. It really is because it gives you a full measure of what it was like, you know, what really went on in that particular era. And of course, you know, they've got no ax to grind. They're just telling you as it is. So if you haven't checked it out, do have a look. Um, it's in the Sunday batch of videos. So just take a look, you know, it will cheer you up a little bit different to everything else that we like to put up here. The breaking news, the rolls of nostalgia, that sort of stuff. Just take a look, please. Anyway, back as ever to your royal breaking news story of the day. Yes, you can imagine how difficult really now things are when you consider for Meghan Markle. I mean, things are not simply going at their very best. As you can see now, you know, this is the problem for Meghan. She probably thought that she was going to hit it big by marrying into the British monarchy, not realising that it does take some form of dedication attached to that particular job, whichever way you look at it. I think Meghan truly bought into the idea of the wedding uh, hanging around a bit and then saying, I tell you what, we'll go back and live in California. That bit worked out for her. This bit hasn't. You see, it's all about her former spouse, her former husband, Trevor Engelson. Now, you see, he has suddenly become incredibly powerful. As ever, let me explain. You see, while he was married to Meghan Markle, she, of course, was struggling. And as we now know, quite heavily documented, had certain, shall we say, demands on Mr. Engelson. He, of course, then, sadly, was divorced uh, by Meghan. And if the stories are to be believed, she sent him his ring back in the post without so much a buy-as-you-leave. Of course, we have to say, allegedly, it's never fully been proved, other than by the fact that it's documented in print. But there you go. We don't know the other side of the story. But what's interesting here, you see, is this. When you consider that, of course, he must be asked on a simple daily basis about his time with Meghan Markle, it appears that he will not talk about her and the N-word has now been banned in all conversations. His life has definitely moved on. Many people think in the better direction. Beautiful children, beautiful wife, and a very successful Hollywood career. Far more than possibly Meghan could have imagined. In fact, he's achieved everything that she was solely setting out to get. I'm not decrying the fact that she's possibly happy with her lot now. But you see, the bigger problem for Meghan is this, that he hasn't ruled out speaking at some point in the future. And this is really the sort of swinging ball hanging over Meghan's head. She can't do anything herself, and she must live in fear of the day then when he decides to tell his version of events. Amongst everything else, his version will be the most explosive. As we saw, of course, from Meghan's father, Thomas Markle, he really was told not to keep any documentation of said wedding, but he did, and he's revealed it. And according to a well-placed source, Trevor got on incredibly well with Thomas Markle, something that Prince Harry's not been allowed to do. Wonder why? But what's interesting here, Meghan truly is terrified because if he decides to open that can of worms and reveal about his short tenure at least, a few years marriage at best with Meghan Markle, then that could blow away everything that she's truly built up herself or what she believes she's built up right now. And more importantly, of course, for her, she really does not need this. But the bigger picture is this. Trevor now has nothing to lose. He doesn't need the money. He could donate the money to charity. And that's the story that's whirling around Hollywood now. Perhaps he'll do it to make sure that less well-off people, certainly deprived people around him, could do better. And once and for all, putting together, killing off those terrible negative rumours for him about his time with the former cable TV actress. As ever, it truly is a developing story. And when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.